Uh, so hello everyone, this is Volatile42 and I wanted to show you this new uh, connectivity feature that uh, the Vespers in India have. Um, I think so far it's only available in India because when I googled for it, I could not find anything else uh, from anywhere else. Uh, so yeah, um, so far there isn't a lot of information out there on exactly what it can do and what it cannot do. Uh, because Viaggio, they are touting it as a complete uh, connectivity solution uh, where you can connect your smartphone uh, to your Vespa and you can communicate uh, with it and you can uh, get uh, technical details from the scooter and you can do or send events or requests to the scooter like uh, to beep its horn or to flash its lights but it's not gonna do much because as it is that there is a system on the scooter um, if you see this sticker I think it's just a sticker I'm not sure exactly what it is but that does not do anything it's not a button or a set of lights or anything uh, as I see it it just uh, shows you that this vehicle has a connectivity feature and that's all. There is a module somewhere in, underneath the handlebars or somewhere that actually provides the connectivity. So the only connectivity this thing has is Bluetooth to your phone. It does not have GPS, so it is not location aware. And uh, it does not have a cellular connection, so it cannot communicate with your phone unless your phone is in Bluetooth range, okay? And that is not much. So uh, let me find a place to stop and open up the app. And let me try to show you what all you can do with it. I think up ahead is a good place. It's a little dirty, but loo. Okay, uh, so hope I can Hope you can see the screen. Let me open up the app. So you see this red icon. If it's red, then it's not connected. Uh, let's hope it connects. Yeah, so now it's green. So that means it's connected. So you have a plethora of uh, things you can do with it. So let me get off the scooter for a moment and show you the find me uh, feature. So what that does is it uh, it's gonna flash the indicators and beep the horn twice. So that's gonna help you find the scooter if you're parked in a crowded place. You know, it can happen in India where you have uh, a line of scooters, um, you know, where you may not be able to spot yours easily. So what that's gonna do, let me just step off. So there I am, I'm still in the Bluetooth uh, range, it's still green. So if I hit this, see, that's what it's going to do. And there's another feature, follow me. And that's just going to turn on the uh, flashers. Uh, this, they won't be flashing, but they'll be steady. And that's similar to the follow me uh, feature you have uh, uh, on cars that turn on the headlamps for a while. Uh, so you can uh, find your way in a dark place. This one does not use the headlamps, uh, it uses the flashes, which is good for the battery. And then comes the navigate me feature. Now this one, um, of course the scooter does not have any location awareness. So this is just going to take you to the last known position of your scooter. So every time you turn off the ignition key with the app open, uh, the app is going to save the location using the phone's uh, location services or GPS. And then uh, when you're somewhere else and you hit the navigate me uh, button, it can open up Google Maps and it's going to take you to it's going to take you to the last known location of the scooter. So for me, it's the same place. I'm still here. But uh, if your scooter moves, uh, 
since uh, the location was recorded last, it's not going to know about it because the scooter is not aware of the location and the scooter cannot communicate with your phone except the Bluetooth. So that's that. Share bike, uh, I'm going to come to that later. Um, my services, that's just locating dealers and service centers, petrol pumps, not much. Uh, one useful thing for me, if you go to my Vespa, you have the vehicle info. And if you go to my vehicle technical info, uh, looks like it's not updated somehow. But it's going to show you the battery voltage and also the fuel level. Let me turn on the ignition if that's going to... Yeah, see, it says trip started as soon as I turned on the ignition. Um, but yeah, it's not showing the fuel level for some reason. Normally it shows that. So I turned off the ignition and it says trip end. Now, yeah, trip not stored as you performed very whatever. So when that happens, right, when it uh, records the trip start and end, it's going to show those in this uh, trip history where it's going to show your uh, distance and the average and maximum speeds and even the number of times you've hit the brakes, which is a bit odd. And that's that. Um, my last trip is just uh, details of your last recorded trip. Now, of course, you need to have the app open for the trips to be recorded. Uh -huh. So if you don't have the app running, it's not going to do all those things. Uh, so that's my Vespa, and there are some links to the website, so owner manual. It doesn't work on this phone for some reason because, I don't know, they have a very weird PDF display thing on the website. Uh, it does not work on my phone browser for some reason. Uh, customer care, uh, that lets you connect with customer care. Mm, and of course, in uh, I think it's in my services. It lets you book a service. I have not tried that yet. I don't know if it's going to be any better than just calling your dealership. Uh, but yeah, hopefully it will be a completely uh, online process where you don't have to talk to anybody, just uh, get your service booked as per your convenience. And then you have on-road on assistance and so on. But uh, those are just basic things. The connectivity feature, uh, the connectivity options with your bike, with the scooter, uh, that's just uh, the find me, follow me, and the uh, battery and uh, fuel level, right? So that's all you can do with it, really. So one thing to note is the Bluetooth connectivity. Um, when you scan for Bluetooth devices on your phone, this thing does not show up. And even when you're paired and connected, it still does not show up on your phone uh, connected devices list. So the entire Bluetooth pairing and connectivity is uh, through the app. And the way it works is, uh, when you first open the app, uh, it asks you to enter the vehicle, uh, the VIN, the VIN number. And then it searches uh, the company records, PIGO's records, to see who the owner is and what the owner's phone number is. And then it sends an uh, OTP, and a one-time password, to that phone number. And you have to enter that phone, uh, that OTP into the app to get the vehicle registered uh, to that particular uh, phone, or to that particular app on the phone. So that's a nice uh, security feature, uh, because otherwise pretty much anybody would be able to connect to uh, the scooter. So it is very important that your phone number is uh, updated correctly with the company's uh, records. Otherwise you won't get the OTP and you won't be able to connect. For me it was a very uh, simple process. It worked at the first try and that was even before I got my scooter. It was just that uh, as soon as I had made the transaction um, they had, uh, my dealership had already entered the records in the company's database. So I could just uh, register it on the, on the app. Of course, it wasn't connecting uh, until I got the scooter. But as soon as I got the scooter, first try, it connected. So performance-wise, uh, uh, it's been uh, good. 
although I heard from the dealership that initially they had a lot of issues with this so maybe by now they have ironed out all those and it's a pretty good experience Uh, so that's uh, basically it about the uh, Vespa connectivity feature and app. Uh, if you have any specific questions, please uh, uh, use the comment section to let me know and I'll try to answer them. And that's all I have, guys. Um, hope you liked it and uh, subscribe for more Vespa and more Harley uh, videos. Alright then, that's all I have for now. Bye guys.